uh, Perfect Ending is a serious, adult-themed, um, very mature love story, which you very rarely find because they are so hard to do. It's so much easier to do a romantic comedy. Not that there aren't a lot of moments of levity in the film, um, brought out by Barbara Niven's lovely acting. It's seeing her in, you know, unlikely places for this very starched, uptight woman. What's Morgan Fairchild's role again? Morgan Fairchild plays a deliciously twisted uh, madam who um, assigns all of her escorts... No, 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 don't tell. Oh, don't tell. Don't oh, tell. I won't tell you that secret. However, I will say this is a feminist political movie in terms of a statement about what society has done to women and how women view themselves. So if you want political, it is political. Um, it's, it's talking about how we have basically crammed woman into one of two places, whore or housewife. And that is what this story is about and how women redeem themselves when they get their power. Wonderful. I'm so over people saying they don't like romance when they really do. I mean, I think there's a reason that Elena Undone and Claire of the Moon and Little Man are watched over and over and over and over again is because it touches them. And that's my job as a filmmaker is to evoke feelings. It's not my job to be a political filmmaker. And a lot of people have had problems with my films because they're romantic and lush and, you know, maybe high seas uh, romance. But we can all use a little bit of that in this world that's so cynical and jaded today. Sure and can. And what A Perfect Ending is, is, is an art film. And um, people say it's a lesbian film, and I, I basically say, I dare you to call any film a lesbian film today, because we are beyond that. We don't have to label this film. Um, what makes a lesbian film for you? Do the actresses have to be lesbians? Does the director have to be a lesbian? Does the crew have to be lesbians? Um, you know, uh, we have an out activist, hot lesbian Jess Jessica Clark, and she's very out and active in the community, but that doesn't make this a lesbian film. Um, are like no one has ever seen. Everybody who has seen the key love scene has never seen anything like it. And um, it is, uh, I feel like my proudest moment in terms of filmmaking. Um, I also feel like this is my best feature um, and Little Man being my best documentary. Marina and I would like to know why is it that straight audiences get love stories and lesbian audiences aren't allowed love stories? And not only love stories, but truly adult, serious, mature themed love stories, which a perfect ending is.